are the most current needs, especially for your customers? We are here to get at uh, uh, guys from insurance, from funds, etc. Yeah, maybe we'll start with uh, Mr. Novak. Krzysztof, please. Um, I'm not uh, coming from a uh, structural product business, so my view will be probably a bit different because I'm dealing on a daily basis uh, with pension or savings uh, products. But I think that uh, customers' needs are universal uh, in general. So I mean that uh, every client uh, is looking for exactly the same uh, uh, characteristics or elements, of, or elements in the uh, product uh, structure. Uh, I'm working with mainly with uh, corporate clients with employers uh, who are trying to uh, or who are going to establish pension plans so from their perspective they are trying to avoid uh, any risk uh, for their staff for their employee employees and uh, at the same time we are working with uh, final customers employees who are um, uh, joining the plan uh, investing own money or uh, deciding uh, which uh, in which uh, products funds uh, the company contribution is invested so from those uh, both perspectives i would say that the list of uh, needs is rather uh, or very similar this is the trust i mean uh, trust to the provider this is the uh, uh, expectation of uh, getting transparent products so in this term, I think that the structured products is, uh, uh, is really a challenge for uh, selling the, the, uh, this kind of product to the, uh, to the pension uh, plans members. Uh, this is the uh, cost, compet uh, cost uh, uh, competitiveness. I mean, uh, the cost should be low as much as possible. Uh, it also means that we are working mainly with group products. Group products in this term means that uh, there is no uh, fee for distributors. And I think that the distribution is also the key information and the key uh, challenge for uh, structural products industry because uh, in pensions, everybody expects that there is no any distribution fee, there is no any uh, intermediary body between client and provider. So the question is how we can use this, uh, uh, this uh, challenge, possibility, opportunity. Um, Sorry, and what about the management costs? Um, because I could imagine for insurances, for, for, you know, uh, to have it for several years, it is a very this is the main point, I think. Yeah, of of course, from this perspective, I would say the distribution uh, understanding as the upfront fee or, uh, or uh, uh, fee on contribution is uh, much less important than asset management fee or remuneration uh, charges uh, paid on, uh, on assets on a uh, daily basis. I would say that, uh, answering the question, first of all, uh, in 95% we are not using insurance products because the costs are too high or uh, at least they are not so transparent for our clients. We are using mainly mutual funds products. Uh, of course the asset management fees in Poland are high. The question is whether there is any space for reduction because I understand that the answer is not so easy. We are, uh, we are in the market with 100 billion uh, zlotys uh, under our management in TFIs and something like uh, additional uh, few billions in uh, pension schemes and so on. So this is not a huge market probably the space for reduction is not so, not so big but uh, as I said uh, for, for me the solution fee should be zero and this is uh, zero in, in practice uh, asset management fee for pension plans are definitely lower than the retail market uh, this is not the level for Western economies so this is not 0.5 percent for uh, fixed income or 0, 0.7, uh, 0, 8 percent for uh, for equities, but probably based on my experience, I would say that we are close to these numbers, uh, close to these figures. So this is, but this is one of the key issues because uh, people do not. Uh, 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 people doesn't know what will be the future return, but they know what is the cost. So uh, define the, uh, making the decision whether I would like to use this product or not. This is sometimes the only criteria for this decision because the rest is a promise of the future. Okay, let us just focus on our market first. So please let me ask Mr. Guberov as well uh, the same question. 
from your perspective? Uh, from my perspective, it's um, so for sure we need structured products uh, as as, as a, um, structured uh, pr pr products at all because. Um, Clients still need, uh, first of all, so retail clients. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about uh, clients that my colleague uh, mentioned. Uh, so retail clients still uh, want c capital protection, uh, but uh, will, would like to have higher returns than from bank deposits or from government bonds. Right. So for sure, it can be done almost only by structured products. Why? Just people are greedy. Just everyone is greedy. Oh, right. and, and afraid yeah. of the of the risk of losing money. Yeah, only in you know in 2007. I remember uh, 2005, uh, six, seven. Uh, I worked in in the branch. Uh, I was selling, uh, and no one was asking me about the risks. So uh, even there were people that were coming to the branches, opened only the door and asked, "Do you have?" And here will be the name of the company, so I will not name, because I s saw a TV ad that was showing this, the, uh, a lot of us remember, yes, flying money uh, with very high profit. And it was all of discussion, yes, no, and the doors were closed, yeah. Uh, the, the only yes, no, it was, was you know, decided on, on which uh, side the, 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 the was the client, inside or outside, yes. Okay. And it was the whole, the whole story. Now, so they were, uh, they were, were also not, uh, not willing to have risk on capital, but they didn't even realize that there is something like that, because no one was... But are your clients afraid people. of structured products currently? Uh, some of them, yes. Some of them, yes, because uh, the press is, uh, you know, showing uh, usually uh, if structure, uh, if, if, if the uh, uh, stock exchange goes down, uh, they, of course, uh, are talking about structure products like, oh, look, uh, they cheated us because the structure products um, uh, profits were less than bank deposit. And when the stock uh, was up, yeah, they are talking, oh, they cheated us, the structured products are bad because they do not earn as much as uh, stock exchange. Because generally, they do not uh, follow the stock exchange exactly the same and they will not, yeah? It's, it's impossible. So now you have to persuade them that this is a good opportunity to invest. Of course. All right, so let's switch to, to the focus of the island to our region, maybe Tomasz? It is already on. Uh, okay, so uh, maybe I will uh, react to what I have just heard. I mean, there is one uh, very interesting feature of uh, structured product. It basically, uh, compared to, for example, mutual funds, it uh, allows you to provide much wi wider variety of uh, uh, products. And basically, uh, having just a mutual fund, you can bet only on the rising market. Uh, what is very interesting with structured products that you can build uh, different payoffs that basically you can bet on the stability on the market, you can even bet on a uh, slow decrease of the market and you can still benefit uh, some positive uh, return on, the, on this product. Uh, when we are talking about retail products, there is one uh, uh, very interesting uh, behavior feature of retail clients obviously and uh, it goes with what they see on the TV advertising and so on I mean, retail clients and you can see it on a lot of uh, statistics of uh, sales volume sales of mutual funds people tend to sell when the market is up and people uh, people tend to buy when the market is up and people tell, tend to sell when the market is down so the market timing of retail clients usually is very bad so, uh, a structured product, it can be perceived as a tool for a distributor, basically to convince the retail uh, uh, client about the right timing of his investment. Because he would not probably invest today in a share market direct investment because he is too afraid uh, of losing his money and the capital protection can, uh, can basically overcome this, uh, this fear 
And obviously, with a capital guaranteed product, you are paying for the guarantee. So uh, you will not benefit from the full upside of the market, but at least you have uh, invested when the market was down and not when the market when the market was up. So this is one uh, very interesting feature of the structured products, and basically it can help you to overcome this fear of the clients. And if okay, if uh, done responsibly by uh, by distributors, it can uh, it can serve as a interest, very interesting tool. And the short question: What about institutional clients? Because we've spoken about retail clients. Any information about uh, institutional clients? Obviously, they, it's a, it's a different uh, different animal. Yeah. I mean, uh, institutional clients uh, they are looking uh, more globally on their portfolios, so they might be maybe less interest today by capital guaranteed product on the part of their portfolio. So they they are more looking into diversification, and that's we will come to what I have just discussed. So maybe they are looking for hedging. Uh, strategies or market uh, market market access strategies. So it's uh, it's uh, it's a bit, bit different. Uh, it's a bit different approach. All right, uh, Jean-Marc. Sure. Uh, so on, on we are very focused on retail clients. Um, as you know, across Europe, uh, what we see systematically is a need for capital uh, guarantee, a proper capital guarantee. And I spent my entire career trying to sell something which is 95% capital guarantee. Uh, even tried last year, 99% capital guarantee. We never sold it. So people want 100% capital guarantee. That's a fact, and it will be always the case. As you said, we are uh, retail investors are very bad at mark time, market timing the, uh, ma timing the market. So that's why we need capital protection because, for example, in 2008, we could have lose, lost 45%. Uh, so we need guaranteed funds. I think you see three guaranteed funds is definitely uh, has been the answer to this need for safety after 2008. So everything we do at the moment tends to be wrapped into uh, UC3 uh, guaranteed funds uh, because you have uh, uh, the safety of diversification of uh, counterparty risk. Uh, no issuer can be more than 5 or 10%. So it gives a lot of um, uh, comfort to the investor. Uh, the other need we see in retail is for coupon. So people want capital guarantee and coupons at the same time. They're greedy, as you said. Uh, so it's very difficult because rates are lower and lower, uh, except in countries like Italy. So at the moment, Italy, for example, is very big in, uh, in, in social product. Uh, we are showing billions, uh, billions per quarter of, of uh, products which are guaranteeing 5%, 6% yield. Um, and what we try to do is move uh, away from the pure fixed income market uh, because um, when people are by bonds, they tend to stick with the same product for um, six years. Uh, and, and we know perfectly that for the networks, not very good. Uh, a bit of turnover in structural products is good for the network. So uh, we try to build uh, products which are equity linked but with a high minimum coupon. So this has been the, 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 the most of the demand. Uh, on, on the institu institution side, I would say that uh, um, institutions were uh, completely away from the structural market after 2008. Uh, they tend to come back now with Solvency 2 in mind, as uh, some insurance companies will have a hard time uh, holding a risky assets uh, because the capital charge is going to be multiplied by, um, by uh, 5 or 10 compared to what they have. So that's why we, need, we see the need for social product for institutions as a mount is for insurance companies.